Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man, and we are back on Sherwood. And I don't know what I'm going to do today. I I need to um, I need to seed a couple of fields, I guess. I need to seed three and uh, and fifteen down here. These are the only ones we own. We own one, three, and fifteen, but but. There was something else I was thinking about doing. I don't know what it was. Um, isn't there another field close by that need, that we can steal? I think so. I need the money. As usual, when I start new maps, I need money for equipment and stuff. There's a field right there. What what number is that one? Let's see. Uh, well, is that the one... Is that the one that's withered? That's the one that's withered, so that ain't gonna do me any good. That's field four up there, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, so that won't do me any good. I could uh, I could take field five, I guess, and work it. So, but I do need to start seeding. So let me grab a cedar. Let's see, what am I gonna use for a cedar? Uh, will that one pull the cedar? Or do I have to use this big mama? Probably this sucker. Of course, I'm not using uh, the huge cedar, am I? No, I'm not. Let me uh, let me see if that other tractor will pull it. Uh, I do need a weight, though. I think. Do I own one? Let's take a look. Have I got a weight? I don't see one. Okay. Now, what are these? I own two of these. I own one of those and one of those. I own seven of those? Really? That's odd. Wow. When did I... When did I purchase those? Huh. All right, well, I'll worry about that later. Let's see. Um, that one is not ready to do yet, is it? No, it's growing. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's... Get this thing... I'm a little bit confused right now. I don't know why. A couple of these maps are kind of challenging. This is one of them for me. Mostly because of the shape of the fields. It's really hard to work. So we're going which way are we going? We're going uh, straight down off of one. Which is down this way. Can I get... Uh... Well, let me see. I might have to go through the field. Let's go through the field. Ah, this thing's dirty. Did I ever put in a... A washer? I don't remember if I did or not. I think I put one... Did I put one by the... Um, by the house? Or did I think about putting one by the house and didn't do it? Ah... Uh, let me see. I think I thought about it but didn't do it. Yeah, I didn't do it. So, let's choose a placeable. And, yeah, we don't own any. Karcher. Cool. Um, let's buy one of those. We got a little bit of money. Let's put it... Like I said, I debated on putting it someplace close. But I hadn't decided to put it there. I'm thinking of putting it on the end of this right here. Let's move in a little bit. And and uh, how do I want it pointing, though? Does it matter? Does it really matter? I don't think so. But I think I'll pop it right there on the end. It'll just be an extension of that hedge. And then I also was going to buy a weight, wasn't I? 
So let's grab one of these. And then let's have it delivered. All right. Where does it show up? When I have things delivered to the far... Oh, there it is. This way. Walk this way. I think this is it. All right. Let's grab that thing. Let's put some weight on it. Don't need too much weight. Put a little bit. And then let's watch this thing. So I can see what I'm doing. Filthy. Thing got dirty just doing one field. The only way I can tell when these things are clean is by watching the tires. When all the dirt's gone from the tires, I figure it's done. And this thing, I usually go by the tongue here. Or I can go by the tires, same thing. Now, since this is one unit, does it get that, that too? I think it does. Yeah, I think it does. All right, let's, uh, what a big improvement, huh? All right, let's see. We need to go through, not that one. Let's see. We're going to go through this one. And let's grab some seed and fertilizer and make sure we're full up here. gas this is uh, fertilizer oh this doesn't do fertilizer I forget this is not my John Deere so this just does seeds I have to fertilize separately but that's okay we knew the job was dangerous when we took it And I forgot to take damage off of this farm. I have made modifications to the maps I'm playing. I'm playing six different maps. One for each of six days out of the week. And then on the seventh day, I usually do a driving one for uh, American Trucking. Oh, that's what I have been doing. I remember, I remember, I put a bunch of, uh, I put a bunch of windmills up to make a little extra money. Those are all my windmills going there. I remember that now. But I changed, I'm changing my maps to a level one maps. I usually play on hard or normal depending on the uh, how the map is set up for um, for yield amounts for um, sale amounts in other words how much money I get for my crops some of them you know are, are pretty low let's see this is three this is the one I want to work so let's start on it this one should be Pretty straightforward. I don't think I have a course set up for this, but let's check. This is field three, seed field one. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do a course for this, and I'm gonna do one with um, one um, headland, and then it'll go up and down, up and down, up and down. So let's start in the northwest so we're gonna start in the northwest this is field three we're gonna do 8.9 starting in the northwest 
We're going to be heading east. Activate that, and we're going to do one headland. And we're going to call this Seed Field 3. Uh, here's what I decided I was going to do. I'm doing six uh, maps right currently. That means that I'm only doing, I'm only playing this map once a week. So it's going to take me forever to do anything on this map because I won't have any money. So what I decided to do was to put some of those windmills up like I did. I'll make a little bit of money off of those every hour. And then if I switch to um, field level one, I'll get higher yields. Well, I won't get higher yields necessarily, but I'll get a better price for my for my yields. And that way I can progress through the farm faster. And the reason I want to do that is because in October, uh, Farming Simulator 2017 is going to come out, or whatever they're going to call it. And uh, at that time, I'm going to prob probably be playing Farming Simulator 17 at least five or six days a week. Uh, and it's, I'm guessing it's only going to come out with maybe one or two maps. And so that being the case, I won't have time to play six other different maps. And I may move away from Farming Simulator 2013 altogether. So I want to go ahead and, and get into these six maps that I'm doing uh, to a certain level. And so I need more money to do that. And I need it quicker than I'm getting it now. So that's what I'm doing. Well, okay, that was quick. I want these things to stop. I don't like those. God, this thing is slow. Maybe I should have got the bigger tractor. All right, well, while I'm waiting for this to happen, is he actually on a course? Because he's not, what in the world? Well, I guess he is. All right, well, I just let him go, I guess. See what happens. I just need him to go around one time. Okay, I'll let him go. So in the meantime, let me take a look at these growth patterns on these fields. Five is ready to harvest. So let me run down there with the uh, with this guy. And what is on that field? Canola? Is that what that is? All right, let's go grab our our uh, header. If I can get in there to it. Yeah, so I went in and I changed this to a level one farm. So I'll get more money from... I'll make a little more bang from my buck. Right, how do I get out of here? This way. Uh, you know, I could just go through this field. That's what I could do. If I get through the mud. So we're going to head on that way. Don't you love canola? It's pretty... When in real life, when you're going through wheat fields and stuff, and you get to a um, you get to a field of canola, it's just beautiful in the sunshine. You know, just seeing that yellow crop. It's pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. I wonder why that's not growing. I think. I had to do, it takes forever to do these fields because they're shaped so weird. You have to kind of do them manually. It's a pain in the butt. Tell you what. It's not really, it's kind of fun if you're just playing the game. And you're doing one thing at a time because you're the farmer. But when I'm playing a game and recording it and I've got three or four different fields being worked. Five or six different combines going. 
all the support vehicles for each combine. I mean, it's uh, it's hard to do a map like this. It doesn't have flat square fields. Alrighty, now where is the... This is three. Where do you suppose I'm going to find the gate to get out of this field? Down that way, or is it up that way? Could be either or. Well, let's take a look. I'm gonna come. Ha I'm gonna have to come back and do this little corner manually. I think something's going hooey wrong here. What is he doing? Let's see growth pattern. All right, he didn't go all the way around. He's just going up and down or something. That ain't right. Did I not put a headland in this? Uh, 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 uh. I'm pretty sure I did. Because I was looking at this. And it shows a headland going around. Unless... Oh, don't do that. Okay, unless... Unless... I didn't get clear to the right. This is not right. Something's wrong. It's supposed to go all the way around. It missed that whole part there. Maybe I should have selected more than one headland. All right, let me come around here and make sure I'm directly on this course like I'm supposed to be. No, that's what he did before. That's not right. That. I, I don't know what the hell it's doing. Oh man, this is crazy. All right, let me see if I can figure this out. This is uh, Well, he, he's doing a different area than he did before. Isn't he? Well, I have no idea what he's doing. I'll just let him go, I guess. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Alright, so is there a, a gate on this end of the field? Um, uh, maybe. Well, there's a path here. Yep, there's a gate. Alright, if I can get through the mud. Tossing up mud left and right here. Okay, and we've got something right in the dang middle there. Okay, let's um, get rid of this. Hook up to our header here. Get started with this party. Let's kick it. Let's kick this pig. Say, how are we going to do this now? Let's see. This field is shaped so strange that I don't know. All right, I think I'm going to have to go down to either this bottom there or the bottom on the right and choose 
Wow, this is going to be weird. So you got to be able to choose the um, the corner of the map, and it thinks it needs to be triangular. So if you're starting in the north uh, or southwest, it has to really be the furthest southwest you can get. So I think it's this corner down here. But I don't know how it's going to handle that little jog in the in the field there. That right there is there. I'm going to have trouble with that. I think. Well, let's get this thing open. Ah, uh, shoot! That, that uh, cedars having trouble already. All right, let's go see what's wrong here. Oh, he worked himself out of it. But let's see what it is. Oh, he got he got hung up on that on that. Uh, see, it's not going all the way around like it's supposed to. Oh shoot, I'll just let it go, I guess. But there was a reason why I wanted the headland. Because I was afraid it's going to get caught on that stuff. Okay. Stop this. Um, let me turn this off. And uh, raise it up. Did I? I don't... Shoot. Alright, this is seed field 3. I'm going to trash this. And see if I did something wrong. Let me go back down there. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it with maybe two headlands. It doesn't look like it's doing any headlands is my issue with what it's doing. See we're on seating. Do this. See, we got one headland. It didn't look like it was doing any headland. Why does it not show my field? Did I not choose a field? I had to have. I had to have. All right, so I'm gonna do two headlands and see what happens. Seed field three. Okay, now where's our starting point? Right there. Same starting point, isn't it? See what it does this time. Well, is it is it seating? Now this looks better. He's staying on the field, the shape of the field. That looks right. Let's see if it goes all the way around. It really, really didn't act like it was doing any headland the last time. Usually when you set a headland, it follows the contour of the map, which is what I wanted it to do because I was afraid it was going to get stuck on those hedges there. Now it seems to be working this time, so I don't know what I did wrong about the first time. If I did anything wrong. Man, this thing gets dirty fast. Look how dirty that cedar got. I just washed it. I suppose it would, wouldn't it, get that dirty that fast? I mean, we're kicking up a lot of dirt. So, that's a good thing. Ooh. <coughs> yeah. Been there. Done that. 
All right, so it looks like he's working. So let's go on with the with the uh, combine. Let's see. We are in the southwest. Let's give this a shot here. Um, I don't know if I do. Should I do this or should I do auto wash? What's auto wash going to do at this field? Let's give that a try. Let's give it a try and see what auto wash will do. I'm going to try to start in this corner. Uh, I'm going to try to do a gentle start here. We'll just kind of work into this corner here. Like this. And then auto wash, see what this thing will do. In the meantime, we need to go get a truck. What in the world? Is that stuff growing already that I just planted? Wow, that's funny. All right, so we're gonna have to use this fella, I think, because that's the only tractor I have. No, it's not. I got another tractor here. Oh, it's a Puma. He's not gonna be able to haul anything. Um. Uh. Eh. Let's let's do something funny here. Let's uh. Let's look at what we got. Let's do this. I'm going to I'm going to rent one of these guys. If this doesn't work, I can always turn it back. All right, I want to I want to do a reset there. All right, and then let's find it, start it up. Whoa! I lost my engine. Oh, that's odd. It's completely silent from the inside. And it's pink. Pink, silent, and deadly. A Peterbilt. That's that's too odd. I gotta have I gotta have some engine sound. That's the only way I know it's alive. It's alive. Okay, I think that thing's working correctly now. So I can't believe that crop is growing that fast though. Don't get stuck in the mud. Okay, now let's see. Let's uh, let's give this guy some walking instructions here. What's the quickest way to get back to the farm? Not maybe not through the fields. I think there's a gate on the other end here that'll get me to a road. Maybe, perhaps. Woo! This is gonna be fun. Talk about rolling hills. The rolling hills of Sherwood, right there. Let's do that. BC Bueller modding. All right, let's uh, let's just do this. Let's do this. We're gonna do one of those, and we're gonna do. Um, Start course recording. And we're just going to head out this way. Those are going to come in or out. Those go out. All 
Okay. I don't think these things hold very much, though. So he's going to be busy. Very busy. But if it doesn't work out, at least we'll have the uh, route set up. And we can exchange to a different truck. Or a tractor and a trailer. Or maybe get more than one of these. Just keep two of them running back and forth. That was close. Okay, so let's see. We want to run this way. I think. And then, just in case I need more than one of these, I want to do a roundabout route. I don't want to go back the same way I just came because if I have to have more than one truck coming from that field or the other field next to it, they're gonna, they're gonna butt heads. So I think I'm gonna go out this way so that they're uh, in a circular route and they won't bump into each other. Motate's pretty good. Alright. I'll be stuck in the mud. I wonder what happens to this mud when it rains. Does it get thicker? Does it get slipperier? Schlicker? Does it get deeper? Did you really get stuck in the mud? like a game of spin tires I never did buy spin tires I watched several people play it and the funny part was I watched several people played it and they played it for a very short period of time and then never played it again and so I'm wondering if it's one of those kind of games that you get on you fool around with for a day or so and then you never go back to it just curious I like I said I didn't buy it stop this thing right here and what field is this? this is field 5 isn't it I'm just going to call it field 5 we don't own it so I'm not going to set up any kind of uh, of an overload type of a thing and I, I chose the wrong thing here I should have chose the combi route so I'll do that now and then there he goes. Go to town. I don't know if this truck gets dirty or if it's just always dirty. I think it's always dirty. Hide the HUD. Well, the soup du jour today is Diet Schnapple. To be completely accurate, it's di Diet Peach Schnapple. I haven't had one for a while. I'm getting tired of drinking carbonated soda. It's not good for you. Everybody says so. I don't care. Uh, I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't chase women I can't catch. So if I want to have a pop once in a while, I'm going to do it, whether it's bad for me or not. I do, I do stick to diet. 
because I'm diabetic. So at least I'm being partly good. And I do try to stay away from the caffeine as much as I uh, can. I, I, don't, I don't drink as much as you think I might because I talk about it all the time, about drinking uh, Mountain Dew. Um, I drink more 7-Up because it's diet and non-caffeine. So I try to, I try to only have a, a Dr. Pepper maybe, I don't know, once every other day or so. I like Dr. Pepper too, and it's got caffeine in it. So I kind of switch off between Dr. Pepper and uh, and Mountain Dew. And no, I'm not paid by Mountain Dew to say that. Matter of fact, I get very little pay for anything. That's why I laugh. I. Uh, I watch another YouTube. I don't. I've had people ask me about watching other YouTubers. I don't have a lot of time to do so. Uh, at one time, I was subscribed to about 120 to 150 YouTubers, and I would come home from work and watch YouTube things, and um, enjoyed a lot of it. And that's why I decided when I needed a hobby to keep me busy that I was going to start making YouTube videos from watching other people do it. I thought it looked kind of fun. And once I started doing it, I'm really, really busy. I do this, you know, anywhere from, you know, five, six, seven, eight hours a day with the amount of videos that I make. I'm always doing something on a computer. And it's not always recording or rendering. There's a lot of that, but... Sometimes it's just playing the game so I can figure out what's going on. But I've had people ask me if I if I watch certain YouTubers, and generally it's a farming simulator because that's what majority of my channel watch. And I have to say no, I don't anymore. But because I'm recording now, I specifically don't watch YouTubers that do what I do. I don't want to be influenced by them. Um, and I don't want somebody telling me that, uh, hey, you're ripping somebody off because you just did the same thing they did, or you're playing the same map they're playing, or, you know, whatever. Um, if somebody says that to me, I says, I have no idea what you're talking about because I don't watch their videos. And that's one of the reasons why I don't watch their videos. I used to. Let's go check and see what we're doing. Okay, how's this guy set up for selecting his, uh, what's he doing here? Let's, let's activate that and let's, let's boost this down a little bit, not to 70. See what he does. No combine in reach. Well, I know better than that. There's a combine in reach. I know there is. You're just lazy. Let's put this guy in a category here. What? I don't have this guy categorized? Come on. Of course I do. Um, this one shouldn't be in group three. Let's drop it down to group four. This one, we'll leave him where he's at for now because I don't know what his function is going to be. Well, actually I do. I use him to cultivate. So let's do that in field four. Cultivating and seeding kind of go together. The other guy that I've got is doing fertilizing and he also should be in group four for now and then of course uh, my pickup truck should go in group one there that should take care of that for a while anyway there you go
Canoler. Wow, got quiet all of a sudden. What's going on? What else should I be doing? Is this guy done? Wow, it looks pretty clean. Well, looks like he did a pretty good job. Let's uh, let's see what it looks like. Hey, it looks like it's all done. All right, so um, look, auto wash took him all the way around. So I think this might work out okay. In the meantime, we need to get down to 15. So, what do we got? We've got, uh, is he still fertilizing? No. What's he doing? Um, 76% seeds. Let's go get our fertilizer dude and get him working. And you know what? This guy probably needs to wait as well. Because I suppose when that fertilizer gets in there, it's actually pretty heavy. Now, you know, look, I've got 500,000. Let's, um, let's see. I need another tractor. Let's take a look at... I really, really, really am liking these, these things here. Um, do I want to spend it, all of it on that, though? That's uh, 660 horsepower. Do I need one that big? How about a 540? Let me think. Let me think. Um, that's a little bit cheaper. Let's get one of those. And I'm going to make it... Um, what color should I make him? Let's do, let's do a yellow, yellow color. I like yellow on these tractors. That looks nice. All right. And then I need another weight or two. Oh, before I do that, though, I also need a better uh, fertilizer spreader uh, than this one. Um, maybe I should get that one. It's 26 meters. Well, wait a minute. They're both 26 meters. What's the difference? That one's got a bigger capacity. Let's do one with a bigger capacity because um, I don't want to have to run back and forth all the dang time. So let's let's purchase one of those and then let's sell this one. Right? Okay, so let's do that. I don't need two. We'll sell that one. I can always buy it back. It's cheap. Um, and I need uh, a weight... So let's grab a weight for that guy. Grab one of those. I like them. Okay, and then let's uh, turn him off. Let's go find our tractor here. And... Which side is the weight on this side? I tell you what, I really like these tractors, and look at the lights on that. Look how many lights are on that. And if I turn the lights on, I'm really impressed with the lights. Look at that. It's got LED lights, those red lights. Look at how, look at that. Okay, watch. Ready? One click. Two clicks. Three clicks. Four clicks. Look at the lights on that. And here's something else that's cool. Watch this. When I hit the beacons. Look at how many beacons on the back, on the front. Look at that. It looks like a cop car or something. Gotta love it. The interesting thing is I have not noticed a big hit on my FPS when I use these lights. Some of the tractors, when you turn the lights on, you get lag. I haven't noticed that with these tractors, and I love the detail in the tractors. They're really good, really good detail. 
and I like the fact that you can get the one size to fit what you need. You know, the, although the 660 horse isn't like a monster uh, tractor, this one is not. This is the 540. But you can get, you know, um, all the mid-range tractors. And the interior, the detail is so nice on the interior. It's just so nice. Yeah, I just really like these tractors. I don't necessarily need that many lights running, so let's do a couple here. All right, let's go down and let's see. Where do we need to be going? Uh, we're heading to what? Oh, we're just heading to field three, so yeah. Oh, also, um, don't I have grain in the dryers? I should check that out. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to color code my tractors. This is the 540. I'll leave it yellow. If I get another 540, I'll make it yellow too. Um... The 660, maybe I'll make it purple, royal purple, or blue, maybe. And then if I get the smaller ones, I'll make them green, whatever. That wasn't my turn, was it? Well, I was getting dark. It's almost, uh, what? Almost 7 o'clock. Game time. I'm going to run out of daylight here. Okay, we need to go into the farm proper first because I need my fertilizer. So, let's go in. Running out of time, running out of daylight, running out of money, running out of everything. Okay, remind me. I'm running out of time here. In the next episode, I need to go check on that dry, uh, the grain I put in the dryer. It should be ready by now. Yeah, uh, these tractors, I really, really did not like the ones that had the colored interior. They, it was too much. Uh, it'd be, it might have been different if you could change uh, and make the interior color a different than the exterior. But it was all the same. And even, even then, it really looked cartoony. It just looked like somebody took your tractor and jumped in it with a paint gun and just sprayed it, you know, a, a bright color or something. It just, it just wasn't right. Okay, here we go. Let's spread some, let's spread some goodness around here. All right, we're gonna do um, spraying again, and let's see here. Let's do field number three. And we're going to do 26 meters. We're going to do the uh, northwest. We're going to be heading east. We'll activate that. Do this. Wait a minute. Let's do this. And for field three. All right, now I have to move that guy out of the way. I don't think I'll have to. I think this guy will go by him, but let's just see what this guy will do. All right, 
I think he's okay. Whoa, that was close. Alright, let's get this guy off the field. Oh, thank you, Microsoft. This guy needs to go down to field 15, so I'm just going to head him back to the farm. The other guy I think is going to be just fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be okay. He's just fertilizing more than he needs to. Now that's weird right there if they will it. I don't think this thing likes just one headland. But I'll have to fix it manually if it screws up too bad. I uh, hope, you, hope you had fun. If you did, like it. If you have a friend, share it. If you haven't subscribed, that'd be great. And I'll see you on the farm in the next episode. Happy farming.